Happy Friday, Falcons. Today's January 22nd, 2021. My name's Cameron. And I'm Danielle. Welcome to the Falcon Weekly. First up this week, Jordan's giving you a look at this weekend's beautiful weather. And on Sunday, it's going to be nice and cold, 41! Ah! Thanks for that, Jordan. And now here's Paul's review with The Silent Place. Hello everyone, it's Paul, and welcome to this week's movie review. Um, this week I decided to watch a movie called A Quiet Place. It's a horror movie, but it's rated PG-13. But it's about the Abbott family and their attempts to survive in a world where making any noise would lead to their death by these weird alien things that don't have a name. Nearly anything is known about them. Um, their weakness is like discovered at the end of the movie. So that's great. Um, the movie was fine. It was kind of boring. The, that was this week's movie review. Have a great weekend, and watch the movie if you have some free time. Thanks for that, Paul. And now, here's Dylan and Three Meme of the Week. Welcome back, Falcons, to this week's episode of History Meme Review. This week, I have Mrs. Copridge here, and we're going to look at this meme. Hello guys, so cut to the Great Depression, a tough time for all, and we have emus ruining the crops of Australia. What do they do to the emus? They send people out to kill them, some hardened military soldiers from World War I, some veterans. The veterans do not fight the emus, so they put out a bounty on these crazy birds, and they still do not quell the emus. The emus win. That's it for this week of History Meme Review. Make sure you come back next week or you'll be history. Greetings, Mr. Rube here. Time to talk about yearbook again. Senior pictures are starting to come in and we still need a lot more, so if you have your senior pictures, a few people have tried to bring them to me on a CD. None of our computers have disk drive, so if we have something that's on a CD, we won't be able to get it off. So your best two bets would be to either email them to me or to Lauren Kalsbeck, and our email addresses will be up right here, so you can email them to me or throw them on one of these handy dandy thumb drives and bring them in that way. I can take it right off there and give you a thumb drive right back to you. Also, if your parents are interested in putting in a grad ad for you, those are starting to come in as well. So you can go to the office and they'll give you a price list on those. Tell your parents if they'd like to buy a grad ad for you, those can be purchased in the office. And then we can talk about how to get the pictures in and all that stuff. Other than that, we are still working on your yearbook. So make sure you get your signatures in to Lauren Kalsbeck or myself and get your pictures in. Okay, by the end of January. Thank you. And now, here's Mr. Turner with his weekly update. Good morning, Central Valley High School. Mr. Turner here with just a brief update. Wanted to congratulate all of the students that are doing such a fantastic job. We've been able to recognize you over the intercom and we're gonna to continue to find ways of honoring those students that are just doing amazing things around here. Fortunately, we have a ton to choose from. A lot of things are happening. And of course, like we've been talking about, we are so excited about the future because we're hoping that, of course, changes will be coming in terms of what we can and can't do. Uh, we know it's been a frustrating year in terms of activities and things, but we're gonna continue to do everything we can to have some fun while we are here and as well as get some great things done academically. And I wanna congratulate all of those students. I know ASB is planning some cool things, some friendly competitions between classes coming up in a couple of weeks. So we'll be excited to announce those things. Um, also those students who are in college classes, we keep adding on class after class for those students that are in the College Vine program. We've recently added a philosophy course and a communications course, along with all of the other transferable courses. So those students playing their cards right can graduate um, out of Central Valley with al almost an AA degree. So we're so excited for you and the job you're doing. So continue to hit the books. Don't lose focus of the ultimate goal, which is obviously your future because the next four years of your life will determine a lot of times the quality of the next 40 years of it. So we want to make sure that you're doing everything you can to prepare yourself. Other than that, we hope you have a 
wonderful Friday. Supposed to get a little colder next week, so check the weather report, but we have enjoyed a little sunshine this week. Take care. We'll see you soon and feel the Falcon pride. Well, Falcons, it's been a great episode of the Falcon Weekly. Once again, I'm Cameron. And I'm Danielle. Have a good weekend, guys.